I am excited to be back again. Hello, everybody. It's another great day that we are going to talk about. What are we talking about? Hmm. C commerce. Yeah, that's it. C commerce. I know you may wonder what's C commerce. Well, I have today with me Sarah Hill. She's going to tell you who she is and what she's doing, and she's going to talk about C commerce. I am Kim Beasley, who is the creator of Kim Live TV. I produce Hangouts. I actually coach and consult with business owners to develop their own Hangout show. It's really a great thing to have in your business if you don't have currently have one, a Hangout show, or you're not currently using Hangouts on Air to create video marketing for your business. Guess what? You can learn how, and I'll tell you more about that later. There are a couple of things I want to keep uh, keep in my in your mind, and that is you can ask questions of Sarah as she's sharing. You can type in questions if you're live on Google Plus. If you're live on YouTube, you can still ask questions there too, and I'll make sure she gets your question. So please feel free to go ahead and post your questions, and we'll ask those at the end. But for right now, Sarah, please introduce yourself. Well, hello, gang, and Kim, it is so great to see you. Let me give you a hang on hug there. Oh, it's a phenomenal um, experience to reconnect with you and, and catch up. So I'm happy to talk here today about C-commerce, and I am a brand broadcaster. So just what Kim Beasley talked about, about how your brand has its own broadcast stick, uh, this is a free broadcast stick. It streams live within YouTube. It streams live within Google+, or any other of the social platforms platforms that you'd like to cross-pollinate your content, uh, you can do that. And Kim is doing a great thing uh, by becoming her own broadcaster. Uh, brands and businesses no longer have to rely on third-party media organizations with which to disseminate their content. They can create their content themselves and then push it out to the world via this free broadcast tower. So I am a recovering journalist. I worked for 20 years in television and first became fascinated behind the scenes uh, of Google Plus. Uh, with Hangouts on Air and interacting with people live in real time during a broadcast. Continuing to do that here for the Veterans United Network. The Veterans United Network is owned by a home loan company and they help veterans use their VA benefit in order to purchase their homes. Uh, conventional banks sometimes aren't able to help all veterans. Veterans United is able to uh, do some things that conventional banks cannot. So we are excited to tell video stories about veterans and military families. Uh, we broadcast on our site, uh, veteransunited.com, bu.com. Uh, we have a show called VA Loan Live, where we we talk with veterans. Uh, we bring in people who can help veterans and help them use their VA benefit in order to purchase a house. We also have a Heroes Hangout program that streams live on Google Plus and on YouTube as well, where we've hung out with everyone from the likes of of uh, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, Jeremy Lin of the Linsanity Basketball Craze, and the list goes on and on and on. And we allow civilians and veterans alike to have a face-to-face -face conversation with some veterans and veterans organizations who are doing some phenomenal things. So that is a very long answer to your question to introduce yourself. <laughs> so that's my long-winded introduction, and I'm happy to be here today to share with you about C-commerce and about how Veterans United is connecting with people face-to-face. -face. Well, I'm glad that you're going to share today. I love your, your uh, intro. I, I love the very first thing you said, that you are a recovering what? A recovering journalist, <laughs> a recovering television journalist, yes. I lived in the box, um, you know, for 20 years. I'm still living in the box uh, that we call online, online broadcasting as well. Um, it was a great gig, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, but it was really fascinating to me to see what more we could do with human media um, and, and see commerce with the brand and connect with individuals on a deeper level besides just chatting with their, their avatar on um, other social networks. And that's really great. That's actually how Sarah and I met. We've met in person. We hung out a lot uh, in person. And and it's really exciting, the great thing that C-commerce can do. It can connect you virtually with your target customers while at the same time allow you to build your brain. So let's talk about C-commerce. What is C-commerce? 
C-commerce is e-commerce with eyeballs, essentially looking at your customer eyeball to eyeball. There are new free digital tools out there called Google Plus Helpouts that allow you to connect in real time with customers, uh, not just via email or having a text-based conversation, but joining a live video chat. Sometimes you really need that, um, say for instance if your product is bike repair or say for instance if you're having a problem with your computer. Um, say for instance if you want to chat with somebody for a counseling session. Um, you can do all of those things in Google Plus Helpouts and it's essentially taking your brand or your business transporting it to wherever your customer is and being in the same room virtually. Google Plus Helpouts and C-Commerce reduce the physical space between you and your customer and allow you to have um, a live real-time conversation and also to tap um, a higher talent pool perhaps than from just around your geographic location. So it used to be in the olden days that if you wanted to take piano lessons, you had to take piano lessons from Miss Millie who lived perhaps just two down, two doors down from you because you had to travel to her house and use her piano to take piano lessons. Well now with Google Plus Helpouts you have the ability to crowdsource for a teacher anywhere around the world. Um, they might be in Boston, they might be in the UK and you, via video chat you can pull up a chair right next to them right on that piano bench and take lessons from them live in real time. And it also allows the piano teacher on the other end, the business provider, the ability to crowdsource for customers far beyond just their physical geographic location. They, the, their customer base is now the entire world. So it's blowing away these geographic boundaries C-commerce is and allowing you um, to have a closer relationship with your customers uh, utilizing eye contact. And after all, wouldn't you like to see the whites of your eyes of, of your customers and make a real connection with them because after all in business uh, being memorable is really important. You don't want your customers to forget you. So that combination of the crowdsourcing tool uh, of Google and Google search, the ability to search for customers who are interested in your brand with Google Plus, the ability to share with your interactions with your customers uh, about your brand, uh, with YouTube um, as well, Hangouts on Air, uh, Helpouts do not stream live on air yet, but mm, wouldn't that be fascinating uh, if there was a help out on air and you had the ability to have this help out with an individual, oh and by the way we're also going to share it with the entire world, world as well. That would be fascinating, but um, you know the, those those three things all together. Google Plus is the left hand, uh, YouTube is the right hand, and Google Plus Helpouts is the third hand. And you can then take that content. You can cross pollinate it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Pinterest, any of your other social platforms. And really, what it allows you is, is a free broadcast tower to broadcast to your customers about you, what you want um, and a free face-to-face -face virtual storefront where no longer do I have to travel uh, to the UK to, to take piano lessons or to get information for instance uh, with Veterans United about how veterans can use uh, the benefits in order to find affordable housing. So all of those things are really exciting and it's fascinating to watch to see how the C-commerce space is uh, shaping up to include even more and more features and become more readily available to more people. You know, you talked about Help House and you talked about C-commerce and one of the things that I don't know if business owners realize, it's a really great way to not only um, use it to in, uh, create a new stream of income in your business, it's a great way to do customer service. One company that's doing a great job with it is Samsung USA they are actually using helpouts to connect with their customers providing four different yes four different types of helpouts to reach their customers how are you seeing this type of thing where major corporations fortune fortune 500 companies are starting to integrate hangouts or helpouts into their business mm -hmm. how are, uh, what is the trending in regard to that 
Yeah, Veterans United is actually using help outs for customer service as well. So for instance, I am offering a help out right now. It's free. Um, that allows anyone 15 minutes um, with me and I can talk with you about how to host a hangout on air, um, about clicking the thumbnails, about managing the stream behind the scenes, the text-based social back, back channel in addition to the face-to-face -face, uh, face -face back channel, front channel, I guess I should say. Um, Veterans United has also applied. We've not been approved yet. Um, hoping that Google Helpouts will approve our listing. Uh, we want to provide veterans with education on how they can use yeah. the benefits that they have in order to purchase a home. So helping veterans find affordable housing. Uh, that's a help out that we have in the queue that's waiting to be approved. Uh, we're also reaching out to real estate agents via help outs and um, allowing real estate agents to have a help out with us and educate them about how they can become military friendly real estate agents and how they should ask their veterans did they serve all of their customers did they serve because if they did there are some unique yeah. benefits that are afforded them that can help them purchase a house so we also have real estate agent help outs in the queue waiting to be approved um, that 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 we are using for customer service but uh, it's really been fascinating for me you know to use this to interact with our, our, our following and um, our customers uh, had a gentleman from Germany who wanted information about how to host a help out and so in that 15 minutes he was able to learn that um, it was free and it was as, as if I pulled up a chair right up next to him and was you know whispering in his ear uh, face to face virtually it's really fascinating to see how people are connecting and how people are using this space and it will be fascinating to see how people use it in the future for medicine for mm -hmm. banking you know all of these different use cases that are that are are just bubbling up and the technology that's in enabling that those use cases as the video technology gets better and better and and the bandwidth um, in some of these rural communities um, you know increases as we go uh, that will on, uh, only enable the ability to have more c-commerce interactions because the bandwidth to support that video chat is also there you know, I, I love the fact that you, uh, you're sharing different examples of how uh, Veteran United is using Help Outs. I, in my own business, I decided to use it as a one-to-one -one, um, coaching program for my business where I actually offer a 15-minute assessment. And then I have coaching that's uh, – the 15-minute assessment is free, but the coaching, the actual coaching, is, I have two different types where I actually have that for fee. Now, in doing that, uh, in thinking about that, uh, does interacting with my customers, and, and, and this is not just talking about me, but anyone who is a business owner, does interacting with the customer via video uh, chat, does that really increase the likelihood of a sale? Yes, um, and research bears that out. Uh, for instance, there's uh, several studies, but one from the Scientific American, uh, Scientific American shows that eye contact reduces hostilities. Okay, so if you're interacting with a customer and you have the ability to interact with them face to face, uh, perhaps it's a situation that they're not pleased about. Imagine the power in that if that reduces hostilities. Science also shows us from a study at Cornell University about uh, cereal boxes and why are those cereal boxes staring at you and, and looking at you? Well, the reason is because eye contact has been shown to in increase brand trust by 16% according to that Cornell study. So think about that for your brand. If people view you as more credible, if they have the ability to see your, the whites of your eyes, wouldn't that want to be something um, that you investigate? You know, right now a lot of brands are mistakenly placing um, uh, they're placing value. It's okay to place value, but not to look solely at um, the the value of text-based uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus interactions. They're measuring their value by plus ones for how many shares that you get, and that's great. But brands also need to be paying close attention to the trust factor. How are they interacting with their customers face to face? Are they using human media of face to face interaction and not just text based social media? Uh, there really needs to be a, a trust um, factor or a way uh, that brands can measure human engagement. 
And perhaps that's something that Google could look at in the future to help us brands out there who know that there's value in interacting with people online via vi video chat, but there's no way to, to quantify that in a, in a plus one or a share or something like that. So does it have value for your brand? Absolutely, uh, especially in brands that deal with trust and doesn't every business deal with trust? Doesn't every customer want to do uh, business with somebody whom they trust? And so those studies are really fascinating to look at and you know we at, at Veterans United are seeing that uh, bear out in the relationships that we're building, the relationships they were able to build uh, via video chat, via hangouts on air, via helpouts um, that, that we didn't have before. Uh, hangouts and, and helpouts are relationship building tools. You know, I, I really love the whole concept of help outs. And I know we're, we're not going to be the, the topic out, but I just want to cover it a little bit more um, because we're going to go a little bit into Google Glass after this a little bit. Um, I have help outs, like I said, uh, as part of my business. And, and people can reach me at kimhelpouts.com, and it's helpouts with an S at the end.com. And I have that as. Uh, my way of, of building that customer 101 trust factor and I totally agree it's about building brand trust when people can sit and look at you eye to eye and, and talk to you and get coaching from you or or get feedback from you training or assistance it can create a, a brand trust and also, it can create evangelists for your products or your business. Because of me starting Help Outs, I have actually, uh, I have people who are evangelists for me now who are going out saying, oh, I, I had a Help Out with Kim Beasley, and, and she helped me do this, she helped me do that, blah, 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 blah. blah. And it's really great, and I love that. So what are, what are some, you've shared all this, little, this great information about Help Outs. What are some of the things that business owners should keep an eye out for when it comes to help out so that they don't uh, fall into a pit and, and not be successful with it? Mm -hmm. what, are, what are some things they need to keep their eye on? Yeah, stay abreast of your of your digital literacy. Um, and there are a lot of great educators out there strictly focusing on, on di digital literacy. Kim, um, we know what you do with your coaching is digital li literacy as well. Um, but it's real easy to just create a, a, a Google Plus account, um, explore help outs, um, apply, maybe create a listing for your brand that allows you to, to do um, customer service via help outs. And just have your, you have your toe in the water um, so that when more and more individuals come to that platform and are seeking help via video chat, um, you are prepared to provide that for them. So say for instance, I had a question about help outs and um, I was getting an error message when I was creating a listing. And so, you know, what did I do? Well, old school way, I went and Googled, you know, help out contact information or, or whatever. And I saw an email address there and I was like, yeah, it'd be really be great if like there were a number to call. And then I thought, oh, Sarah, silly me. <laughs> Schedule a help out, you know, and you can get that live, you know, real time help out. I'm like, surely help outs has help outs, and they did. And so, what did I do? Um, I opened a, a help out, and I got someone in there immediately who was able to answer my questions. So it just takes a learning mindset from the customer to know. Oh, you know, it used to be you'd email and then you wait for a response, or you know, maybe you'd find a, a, a phone number and you perhaps could go through the, the voicemail jail of the different prompts to talk to a real person. Or, you know, in the future, there's a button that says, um, you know, start a help out now uh, with our, 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 our brand or our business, and you have the ability automatically to be propelled into this live conversation with that business that you were wanting to ask the question. So to make a long story short, um, I joined a help out with Google Help Outs. I asked my questions, um, and I got the information that I needed live in, in, in real time. And it was of value to me as a customer because I felt like I had access to the brand, um, uh, access beyond a faceless voice on the phone or a, a, you know, a faceless response um, from an email. And really, you get better customer service when you are 
you know, pleading your case or, or talking to individuals and they can, they can see your body language, um, you know, they can hear better able to see your, your visual cues and hear the tone of your voice. So that's just one example about how I've been using it. Um, I do help outs occasionally too with David Kutcher. Um, he is a fascinating uh, resource for a blogger for consultants. Um, so if you're interested in getting, you know, uh, some pointers on how to make your blog stand out, um, he's helped me with uh, transitioning some sites um, that link to that point to my blogger account. So I opened up a help out with him, and in 15 minutes, you know, he waves his magic wand and he screen shares and 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 walks me through how to how to do this on on my blogger account. So I'm not just um, hosting help outs for people; I'm also using them and. Um, you know, getting some great information from the services that per, are provided on there. And it's fascinating to see all the services. You know, guitar lessons, uh, makeup and hairstyling tips. I mean, it's it's kind of like you're work, walking through a virtual stop shopping mall and you have the ability to pop in, right? To yeah. pop in a room and be like, you know, um, what's going on here? And you got to think in the future that that somebody's going to develop that uh, with help outs, with a whole kind of, you know, a mall, um, uh, atmosphere that you could you could pop in and and um, check out some of those different sites. Well, I'm and we the, asked about glass. Um, no. I don't know if you're ready to talk about that um, or okay, more, but take this one, then we'll go to glass. You bet. I found my writing mentor um, on Help Outs. Uh, her <laughs> her name is Jill Elaine Hughes, and she actually uh, is a successful author and. Uh, she she offers uh, help out sessions and and she she has given me really great advice. Uh, another person that I did help out with was uh, Raymond Williamson. He's a really great uh, life coach. I wanted to test out different help outs and I saw he was doing some, so I said, ah, let me go test it out. I'll see what he's got to say. He had a lot to say. So uh, that was very helpful. So I really would suggest people, even if you are doing help outs, to go and find help outs that can help you in your business, that can help you in your personal life. Um, so now let's get into Google Glass. Now I have a, a couple of questions for you regarding Google Glass. How are you currently using it? I know I've seen it on your face a lot. <laughs> and you've talked about it a lot in your posts. How are you currently using it? Yeah, well, currently right now it's charging in my office. I'm in my studio <laughs> and was, wasn't able to, um, you know, jump across before we went, went on air and grab it. But we use it a lot. I do not um, have it on my face um, at all hours of the day. I do not shower with it. Um, I see it as a tool. Just as you put your phone away, you put your glass away um, occasionally too. And so we are using it to do uh, live virtual tours for veterans. Uh, we've taken glass to the Pearl Harbor Memorial in Hawaii. Uh, I, I've been to the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. And we are allowing veterans to join um, a Google Plus um, Hangout and see directly from my point of view and on the arms and the legs um, of that veteran as we then walk through the memorial. Uh, veterans United has a volunteer program called Hero Tours. Uh, sadly, we are losing our World War II veterans at a rate of 500 a day nationwide, and a lot of these individuals at, don't have the ability to physically travel to see their memorials because they're in uh, veterans' homes, uh, assisted living centers, or in private residences and aren't able to travel. So there's a program called Honor Flight um, all around the nation. I co-founded a, a Honor Flight hub here in Columbia, Missouri that's still flying veterans who are physically able to travel. But what we found is a lot of these um, terminally ill and, and aging veterans aren't able to get on an airplane because they're on too much op oxygen or they have a heart condition and they're not able to leave their bedside. So we developed Hero Tours as an alternative for them to bring the memorials to their bedside and allow them to join a hangout and see them live in real time. Uh, via hangouts and hangouts on air, we've taken them everywhere from uh, Korea to see memorials in Korea to the beach 
beaches of Normandy, France. In, in Normandy, France, uh, we had an individual, um, Laurent Jean Philippe, uh, who opened up a hangout uh, because a D-Day veteran in Missouri wanted to hear and see the sound of the waves on the beaches of Normandy. So we are using glass um, for that a lot. We're also using glass to show real estate agents and connect with real estate agents and show them how to give home tours to veterans who might be deployed or, or to military spouses who might be um, in another part of the country to do home tours, walk through the home and show them live in real time. We've done some demos um, with that to show people how glass can be used for that. We also use it uh, just to take photos and videos um, on story shoots and allow uh, people to see a unique perspective, point of view perspective that, that glass provides. So for instance, um, there is uh, a, a sitting volleyball um, uh, individual that we wanted to do a story on and she's a Paralympian so you know when we would go to do that story in, in Oklahoma uh, one of the shots we might have been able to get was directly from her point of view uh, when she is sitting on the ground because she's lost her legs when she's sitting on the ground and plays volleyball um, that's a view you wouldn't be able to get with a traditional broadcast camera so to have it directly from her her um, you know, eyeballs just sitting on a, her face, you know, not a GoPro strapped to her, her neck or, or, or anything like that, but just directly from her, her point of view is valuable for content creators and for journalists. And the combination of glass plus hangouts makes it a broadcast tower for your face. However, I will add one caveat. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, glass recently pulled hangouts from the device. Uh, we were heartbroken about that. Um, really we were because that really hums, hamstrung um, a lot of the efforts that we were doing um, connecting with these veterans. Uh, we are doing it the old school way just with Hangouts not using glass um, and our next tour is on June 10th. Uh, we're actually using a video drone um, in order to go up uh, Craig Thompson and, and show some of our, our veterans some, some sites within a Hangout. But hopefully glass will reinstate um, Hangouts and, and, and video calls to glass because um, without it, that was the killer feature of it, the fact that you could not only take video point of view but allow other people live in real time to see their view and join that group video chat. So we're using it in, in a variety of ways. Um, like I say, I don't wear it in a shower or 24 hours a day or I don't sleep with it. It's like anything else, um, I put it away. But for certain circumstances, for shooting, uh, when we are doing live uh, tours and for that unique point of view perspective, glass, we're just beginning to scratch the surface on what its capabilities are. Wow, I'm loving it. You know, well, there's I also a live stream app for get for glass um, as well that allows you to live stream from your face or essentially be a broadcast tower. Now it doesn't allow other individuals to join in that conversation and ask you questions in real time, um, like we had with Hangouts with Hangouts on Glass. Um, but there is a live stream app that people people should definitely check out because it allows you to broadcast from your face. I am sad to say we're at the end oh, because there's so much I want to talk to you about and so much I want you to share about so I'll have to have you back in the future. Yeah, well, I just just real quickly want to mention before we go, um, we're having a hangout with Huffington Post, uh, some individuals from from Google, Carrie Loreno is joining us, and um, from Zillow and from Veterans United as well to talk about the resources that are out there for veterans in transition. That happens tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. That's on the Veterans United profile. 4 p.m. Eastern on the Veterans United profile. I'll be hosting that, and, and we're talking about all kinds of resources that are out there for veterans, and not only for veterans but for civilians to pay attention to some of these resources and help veterans. So hope that people can watch um, and tune in then. That's tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Cool. I was just getting ready to ask you that. <laughs> if you had anything major coming up soon. And and that's really great having a, a HuffPost Live uh, segment tomorrow. For those who don't know, HuffPost Live is the live TV version that uses Google Plus Hangouts on air as part of their segment programming and uh, it, it streams live and the guests interact with the hosts that are actually in studio via Google 
Plus Hangouts. Yeah, and this is, um, there are two different things. There's Huffington Post, the Google Plus page, and then Huffington Post Live. So this will be on the Huffington Post Live Google Plus page, uh, Huffington Post slash Google Plus page, not Huffington Post Live. So on Huffington Post Live Google, Google Plus um, page, but you can watch it um, on the Veterans United Network. Huffington Post shared about it earlier this morning. There's a link where you can watch it there. And if you can, uh, please go Google Plus, find the post, reshare it. And once again, this is I'm Kim Beasley, the host for KimLive.tv, interviewing Sarah Hill, and she has done a great job talking about Google Helpouts, talking about Google Hangouts, and Google Glass. Good, 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 good. <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister there. Any last things you want to say, Sarah? Before no, we... just you know, a big hangout high five to you. Um, it's yeah. fascinating to see you be your own broadcaster. Kim doesn't need a big broadcast tower or a big metal stick. She has her own call letters, and she's streaming live and. That is fascinating to watch when um, you know brands, businesses have the ability to be their own broadcasters. You go, girl. Thank you, and I learned it all from you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that, but um, we all learn together, right? We are still continuing to learn um, and would encourage people to reach out to us and teach us new things. Fascinating to hear about all of the new things that are out there to learn. Thank you. Bye for now, all. See you later.